for Brazil's President Dilma Rousseff, Sunday was certainly a day to forget. More than a million protesters took to the streets across the country, many calling for her impeachment over the corruption scandal at state-controlled oil company Petrobras. The protests were organised over social media and designed to coincide with the 30-year anniversary of the end of Brazil's military dictatorship. However, few had imagined just how big they would be. Tens of thousands of demonstrators turned out in Brazil's major cities, while military police estimated that more than one million people came out to protest in Sao Paulo. Unlike previous protests, the demonstrations were largely peaceful and with one simple objective, to get rid of the president. Impeachment, though, is unlikely, analysts say. While Rousseff was chair of Petrobras during the period when the alleged bribery and kickback scheme at the company took place, there is no evidence to prove her involvement, and she has denied any wrongdoing. Se em 96, 97 tivessem investigado e tivessem naquele momento punido, nós não teríamos o caso desse funcionário da Petrobras que ficou durante mais de 10 anos, mais de 20, quase 20 anos praticando atos de corrupção. Nevertheless, Sunday's protests will put even more pressure on Rousseff and the ruling PT party. Brazil is already struggling with a likely recession this year, the highest inflation in a decade, a plunging currency, water shortages, possible energy rationing and a growing fiscal crisis. Rousseff must now find a way to pass painful austerity measures in Brazil to put the economy back on track and safeguard the country's prized investment-grade credit rating. However, when those in her government are accused of stealing vast sums of money from Petrobras and the taxpayer, the last thing Brazilians will be ready to accept is spending cuts. This is Samantha Pearson for the Financial Times in Brazil.